what if I told you Windows 11 can actually run smoother than XP, even on just 256 megabytes of RAM? Sounds impossible, right? Well, meet Tiny 1125H2 Lite, the fastest and smallest Windows 11 ever made. Hey everyone, it's Neil from Appaduce, and today I'm showing you the brand new Tiny 11 Lite, rebuilt from the ground up on the latest 25H2 update. It's insanely lightweight. No Defender, no updates, no Microsoft Store, yet every essential app still runs flawlessly. If you prefer having Defender, updates, or the store, don't worry, I've linked the standard edition below. Since you clicked this video, you're probably ready to create your own light build. But before you dive in, watch till the end, because I'll walk you through the exact process and share a special gift along the way. Once inside the Tiny11 Creator, simply hit build and let it do the rest. If your connection's slow, grab a coffee, this step might take a minute. You don't have to wipe your whole PC just to try Tiny11 or Tiny11 Lite. In fact, inside the download package, you'll find a small tool called Xeno, and it makes installation super simple. Xeno lets you install Tiny11 Lite directly on any drive you choose without touching your main windows. It automatically sets up a dual boot so you can switch between your regular Windows and Tiny11 anytime you want. Just make sure you pick a drive that doesn't contain important files, then format it as NTFS. Tiny11 Lite itself takes only about six gigabytes, but if you plan to add daily apps or games, I recommend at least 20 gigabytes of space. And yes, even old hard drives work perfectly fine. Once you open Xeno, select the Tiny11 setup package hit Start Installation, and choose your formatted drive. That's it. The process will begin automatically and usually finishes in just a few minutes. After it's done, restart your PC, and you'll see a new dual boot screen with Tiny11 Lite ready to launch. If, for some reason, the boot menu doesn't appear, don't stress. You can easily fix it using a free BCD editor like EasyBCD or Visual BCD to manually add Tiny11 Lite to your boot list. Now, if you'd rather go with the traditional USB method, that's totally fine too. For that, you'll use a tool called Rufus. It's the classic reliable way to make any Windows installer. All you need is an empty USB drive with at least eight gigabytes of space. When Rufus launches, it'll ask whether to use UEFI or Legacy Boot. If you're not sure which one your PC supports, just keep the default option. Worst case, your computer won't boot from it. You can come back, switch the mode, and try again. If you want to double check, just search your laptop or motherboard model online to see if it supports UEFI. And before you start, remember, Rufus will erase everything on the USB. So back up any important data first. Once that's done, your bootable USB will be ready. You can now install Tiny11 Lite like a normal version of Windows, except this one is lighter, faster, and built purely for performance. Installing Tiny11 Lite from a bootable USB is super easy. Just select the drive where you want it to install it and double check that you're not deleting or formatting the wrong one. If you prefer using Windows in another language, don't worry. You can easily install additional language packs after setup. And once Tiny11 Lite is up and running, you can push performance even further with my app, Melodic. It's designed to make your system faster, cleaner, and more responsive than ever. Velotic is built for people who demand performance. It doesn't just raise FPS, it optimizes your entire PC. CPU and GPU settings are tuned automatically, junk files are removed the moment they appear, and hidden slowdowns are fixed in real time. With 500 plus advanced tweaks, you control every part of your system. Debloat windows in one click, install apps instantly, unlock hidden hardware features, and manage power plans for maximum speed. Even storage issues are solved. Velotic compresses files safely, freeing up to 70% more space without deleting anything. This isn't a quick hack or a free cleaner. Velotic has been engineered over three years, tested by thousands and updated constantly. At just $19.99, it's a one-time purchase that pays itself back every time your PC runs faster, smoother, and cleaner. If you want your system to run at full potential without effort, Velotic delivers. Once the installation finishes, no matter which method you used, Tiny11 Lite will boot you straight to the desktop. But don't click away yet. 
The most important part is coming up. And remember, your special gift is still waiting. The first thing you should do on the desktop is open the Configure app and enable compression. This step compresses your drive and can cut disk usage almost in half with practically zero impact on performance. It's optional, but I highly recommend turning it on. Depending on your drive speed, it'll take anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour, so grab a coffee and let it run in the background. Once it's done, check your disk usage. You'll see Tiny11 Lite taking up just around six gigabytes. That's a full Windows 1125H2 build with everything working, all apps and features included. Sure, there might be lighter builds out there, but none this stable and optimized. Tiny 11 Lite is tuned to perfection. Any lighter, and you'd actually lose performance, not gain it. Now that installation's done, let's get you connected. Open the toolbox and pick your browser. You'll find Chrome, Opera, Edge, and Firefox ready to install with one click. And this time, nobody's forcing you to use Edge. You finally get to choose what you want. Once your browser is up and running, take a quick second to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Inside the Configure app, I've also included direct links to my channel so you can easily return for future guides, updates, and new releases. If you ever need real support or just want to hang out with other Tiny11 users, join my Discord server. That's where you'll find help, set up advice, and even sneak peeks at upcoming builds before anyone else. And just a quick reminder, please avoid posting support requests in the YouTube comments. Without screenshots, it's nearly impossible to troubleshoot, and many comments get auto-flagged as spam. For proper, reliable help, always head over to the Discord server, where everything gets solved the right way. Now let's talk about drivers. Do you actually need them? If you're a gamer chasing every frame of performance, absolutely. If you're using dual monitors, an external display, or a touchscreen, yes, you do. Even those special function keys or trackpads depend on proper drivers to work the way they should. In short, drivers keep your hardware running smoothly and unlock your PC's full potential. The good news is Tiny11 Lite makes this whole process effortless. On normal Windows, you'd spend hours digging through websites, downloading and installing each driver one by one, but here it's all built in. Just open the Configure app on your desktop and click Install Drivers. Tiny11 Lite will automatically scan your system, detect what's missing, and guide you through every step. No guesswork, no hunting for files, no confusion. Within a few minutes, your system is fully ready, whether you're working, watching, or gaming. That's the power of Tiny11 Lite. It saves your time, your effort, and keeps your PC running at its best. Finally, if any of your apps or games crash while running, you can fix it easily. Just open the toolkit, enable paging files, and restart your PC. By default, paging files are turned off to save disk space for users who don't need them. Enabling them when needed solves crashes and keeps your system stable without affecting performance. Get your copy of Tiny1125 H2V8 Lite from the link in the description. As a thank you to my viewers, use the coupon APITUS100 for a discount. After your purchase, click Go to your items to access the Tiny11 Creator. The coupon works in selected regions, so check yours before applying. If you go for the $20 package, you'll get all OS updates and future releases free for one year, plus exclusive support and perks. And if you're already a Velotic user, Tiny11 and all future builds are yours free worldwide. This lifetime offer ends on the 15th of October, 2025, so don't wait. Thanks for watching. This is Apidus, signing off.